Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can access different sounds with the DreamFoot app. As you know, when you hit the sound button, you're going to see five sounds that come included with the app. However, those are not the only sounds that you can use. I'm going to go ahead and mute my speaker and we're going to connect the DreamFoot app to another app that I like that's called Sunriser and I'm going to show you how you can send the chords from the DreamFoot app into the sounds of Sunriser. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Sunriser app. And when you open Sunriser or any app on your iPad, you want to make sure one thing, that you have selected the sound, but also that you turn on background audio. This is very important because DreamFoot is going to be the one that you're going to be seeing and the sound app needs to be enabled in the background of the iPad. So even though you don't see the app, it's still going to play sounds. In Sunriser, background audio is at the top left corner. So make sure that's enabled. And I'm going to go ahead and select a sound from one of the libraries that we created, Novo Pads. I'm going to press Novo Moderna Pads. I love those. Now I'm going to go back to the DreamFoot app. I'm going to go to Settings. I'm going to go to MIDI. I'm going to go to MIDI Out. And I'm going to see Sunriser selected. Press Settings again. And now when I play through the simple chord progression, the sounds that you're going to hear are going to come directly from Sunriser. So I'm going to enable sustain and play through this. Pretty nice, right? This is something that you can do with pretty much every app, every music, synth app, sampler app inside of the iPad. And it's very easy, very convenient. And it's a quick way for you to access more sounds with the DreamFoot app.